Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price this Wednesday as we have a candle high of 69,000 US dollars, which is a new all time high for Bitcoin's price. And with this breakout of this bullish metrical triangle that we've been following with a potential target of 72,000 US dollars, it's going to be time to start looking at the volume and start looking at some extremely important support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, because at this point, we still have some low volume and the outside environment is something that we're going to really emphasize today because with the U.S. consumer inflation numbers coming out to the DXY has moved into new yearly highs and this is causing the S&P 500 to see price action to the downside below the weekly open. But more interestingly, we see gold today forming a high of 1868 and it was pretty much sitting below 1800 for a few months before over the last three days, seeing some momentum to the upside. This is all puzzle pieces that will most likely affect Bitcoin's price in some way in the more macro term. And so I do believe that this is a very important time and a very critical time to start monitoring some of the smaller time frames as we start to see Bitcoin move towards the $72,000 level. And then we'll start to look at what's happening to the Bitcoin dominance and altcoin charts. Because of course, now that we're seeing this move to the upside, it's going to give us a hint of how altcoins may react if Bitcoin does reach 72,000 and potentially sees any sort of a pullback or if we do see any sort of a breakdown below the $67,300 level, which is the most important support level that we're going to talk about today. Because at this point, not only have we come up above the $67,300 level, which is a very important market structural resistance level, but we've already tested price action back below it and coming up a second time above a major level, it needs to hold as a support level. And so 67,300 is more important than it ever has been at this point with Bitcoin's price action completely above this level. And so at this point, we can assume that the range that we're in is with Bitcoin and price discovery, seeing new all time highs and the first support at 67,300, 72,000 US dollar, in my opinion, is going to be the level in which we can potentially assume some form of resistance before seeing consolidation as long as this move continues to the upside. And I want to emphasize that because so far right now, when we look at what's happening to the environment outside of Bitcoin, we have to address the fact that the US dollar is showing strength right now. And we did have the inflation numbers come out today. And so that's a puzzle piece on the table that might not necessarily be in the best favor of Bitcoin seeing upside. And the S&P 500 right now also showing some sideways price action. And on the daily chart, you can see we're actually pulling back below the weekly open is also not necessarily the best puzzle piece to assume that Bitcoin could see further upside without much resistance. And then gold pushing up tells us that there is certainly some fear in the institutional capital when it comes to traditional markets and that moving into gold right now is an indicator that things are becoming a lot more fluid and there may start to be more volatility in traditional markets in the cryptocurrency market, being the fact that capital is hedging into gold. And keep this in mind, gold hasn't moved in quite a while. It's been sitting below 1800 for almost uh, I'd say three to four months before over the last three days coming above 1800 with a high of 1868 today. It prevented this gold to Bitcoin chart from forming any further lows from the low that was set on October 20th. And this is a chart that we've been monitoring because we know if we do form further lows here with the gold against Bitcoin chart, this could be a confirmation that there's a lot of fuel left for Bitcoin. But if we don't form any further lows, that's going to be a very big puzzle piece, especially if we get above this weekly open, which we've yet to really see this chart play out. I think that it needs a couple more days, but this is going to be a very important confirmation for how much fuel Bitcoin has left, if it has much fuel left. And I say that because on April 14th, when Bitcoin initially saw its short term top at 64,000, we used this chart to predict that that was going to happen when it came back above the 50 day moving average. And so we're in a very similar position right now with this gold to Bitcoin chart. And I think it certainly matters, as I mentioned yesterday, with yesterday's candle low, just one unit above the October 20th low, 
there's certainly institutions watching this chart and it's not a coincidence that even as Bitcoin has moved up today, gold has also chosen its move to the upside at this exact time period. And that could be potentially because the gold to Bitcoin chart is really playing part right now. And so when it comes to altcoins, I want to talk about the emphasis here that despite Ethereum right now seeing new all time highs, just like Bitcoin, the more important chart that we have to keep in mind is the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, because if we see any red candles with Bitcoin, because the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart has been forming new lows so far on a daily basis, the value of Ethereum against Bitcoin is extremely important because not only is this a leading indicator for all coins, but it could assume the type of volatility that we'll see with Ethereum if Bitcoin does start to see a pullback. Because if you shed value against Bitcoin and then you start shedding value against the US dollar pairing, you start to see a more intense breakdown. And so I think that this is a very important chart to watch right now because we're coming towards this monthly open sitting right at the 70,000 Satoshi big even level. And if we break below this level, that would not be a good sign for the altcoins strength outside of Bitcoin. But if we hold this level, that could be a confirmation of a continuation in altcoins seeing strength because this is what's going to lead the chart that factors in the altcoins outside of Ethereum and Bitcoin to finally get back above all of its daily moving averages again. But it's yet to get there because of the indecisiveness that we're seeing right now with the Ethereum and the Bitcoin chart. So this is a very important puzzle piece that we have to keep in mind right now. And knowing that the outside environment, not necessarily showing the best signs of being in favor of Bitcoin moving to the upside. It's certainly a puzzle piece to address on a Wednesday halfway through the week and US oil also pushing down with sort of a bearish engulfing candle today towards the weekly open. Anytime asset prices start to come down, it's obviously being affected by the DXY just because Bitcoin hasn't been affected by it yet doesn't mean it won't be. And so I think that we really need to monitor this breakout right now. But so far, we're seeing a lot of strength. We go into the five minute chart. Notice how volume comes in. A lot of buyers come in and there's certainly not enough sellers to compare to the buyers here. So on the shorter time frames, it looks like there's still that potential right now that Bitcoin will see that seventy two thousand dollar level at some point or another. But the question is, how is this going to play out in the more macro term? And I think that that's going to unfold over the next few days. And of course, for those inside of the discord group, we've been taking a lot of altcoin trades. A lot of people are discussing different altcoins in our crypto chat. We have the number one cryptocurrency community in the world. We actually took about 10 altcoin trades today and seven out of 10 of them have already hit all targets. We're also in a trade right now in Chainlink and uh, Cosmos. And so there's certainly money flowing into altcoins. These have actually moved quite fast. We took all of these trades today and they've already hit all targets. And so there's a lot of money flowing. And here on the Sniper's channel, we like to follow the money. And so with gold moving up, with S&P 500 coming down, the dollar strengthening, those are not the best puzzle pieces for the cryptocurrency market. But the print's still bullish here for Bitcoin. The macro tells us that 72,000 is potentially on the table. And the micro also tells us that we've yet to see much sell pressure. And so to see 72,000, I think is still on the table. But just remember the importance right now of 67,300. That is more important than ever, as I mentioned from the start of this video. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning into the Sniper's channel today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be heading out of Mexico tomorrow. And so I'll have a video out as always. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up and I'll see some of you guys in the discord as I'm always there. As you all know, we have the number one cryptocurrency channel in the world and the number one cryptocurrency trading community in the world. And I appreciate each and every one of you snipers tuning into the channel. And until next time, snipers.